Hi, this is Don McAllister and welcome to another edition of Screencasts Online. We've covered 1Password many times in the past, but it's time for a completely fresh view now that 1Password 8 has been released. It's safe to say that 1Password 8 for macOS is a major release and has attracted some controversy. In order to facilitate cross-platform development, the app has been completely rewritten as what's called an Electron app rather than a native macOS app. It's also been given some new features as well as a UI and design overhaul. Now, despite the app no longer being a native macOS app, it's still faster than previous versions and in all honesty, all of the initial pushback has proven to be unfounded. 1Password 8 is a fantastic application and the 1Password team have done a great job bringing it up to date. So let's take a look at 1Password 8. Firstly, what is 1Password? Well, at its most basic level, 1Password is a password manager, a secure place to store all of your passwords and access them using a single strong password, hence the name 1Password. However, 1Password can do so much more than that, some of which you'll see in this tutorial. I've come across to 1Password.com as one of the new requirements is that you will need a 1Password account on the 1Password.com website. The reason for this is that all of your passwords and other items stored in 1Password are stored in things called vaults, which are controlled by 1Password themselves, all of which are accessible via any device or via the web. Previous versions of 1Password allowed you to use iCloud or Dropbox or other external services to store your passwords. If you are an existing 1Password user, you may already have a 1Password account and already be using vaults but I will go through the process of using vaults later in the tutorial. Now, at this point, I'm going to take some time to go through the various options available to you. So if you want to jump to the install process, just use the chapter controls on the tutorial. Now, before we do take a look at some of the options, I just thought I'd have a slight diversion and go across to about, and this is a section all about 1Password. Uh, the nice thing is I have a soft spot for 1Password because they've actually been going as long as Screencast Online uh, they were started by Dave and Roostum back in 2005. And I remember well meeting Dave and Roostum when they were just uh, the pair of them putting one password together. And they've grown the business now to have, uh, well, as you can see, a global team of more than 500 people. So they've done really, really well for themselves. But uh, let's go back to the main page and let's go to try one password for free. Now, there are various options here. Uh, I'd just like to take some time to go through them. Now, obviously, if you're just looking for a personal uh, 1Password setup, you can actually subscribe here. It's $2.99 per month billed annually for a personal version of 1Password. Uh, if you have a family, you can actually get up to five family members for $4.99 per month. And if you have more than five members in your family, you can add additional family members in for $1 per person. And as you can see down here, so, I mean, the, the, the personal version is, is fantastic. It does everything that you need it to do. But I have personally gone with the family option. Uh, so I've given one password to my wife, to my son and my daughter. So each family member has their own set of vaults. And I've set up some shared vaults as well for family related stuff that people can get access to. Uh, the nice thing about this as well is that you can go in, you act as a manager for your family members. So you can go in if someone gets the password or gets themselves locked out, you can go in and recover those accounts for them quite easily. And as you can see, all 1Password accounts include uh, the software itself, so unlimited devices, and it will run now on pretty much anything. So it'll run on uh, Windows, it will run on iPads, iPhones, Linux boxes, uh, Windows machines, uh, and Macs, etc. So well, well worth checking out the, the family option if, uh, if you think that might be useful to you. Now, if you're a business person, there is uh, some options here for teams and for businesses. So there's a Teams starter pack, so up to 10 members. And again, I've sort of signed up for this for Screencast Online for our users, for our production staff on Screencast Online. So we all have our own separate vaults for uh, Screencast Online related logins, etc. And then there are some shared vaults for admin that the administrators can go in and have a look. Very, very useful. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new up to date tutorials each week. 
as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone and even your Apple TV using the members only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a ScreencastsOnline member.